never been involved in any such discussion. Tonight at 5, a strong denial from Los Angeles City Attorney Mike Fuhr after the I-Team obtained records showing Fuhr was scheduled to take part in a meeting that's now a key part in the federal prosecution of one of Fuhr's former deputies. Good evening on this Monday. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Carolyn Johnson. Colleen Williams is off tonight. We're streaming right now on Roku, Fire TV, and Apple TV. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power's botched billing system rollout overcharged tens of thousands of L.A. residents and businesses and then sparked a corruption scandal that's taken down two former DWP executives and the former top deputy of L.A. City Attorney Mike Fuhr. Fuhr, now a candidate for mayor, said he knew nothing about the legal misconduct that happened inside, uh, inside his office until 2019. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard joins us live right now to explain. Eric. It started inside the headquarters of the DWP, a colossal computer failure that led to the exposure of high-level crimes and cover-ups. The new DWP information system that was supposed to streamline billing back in 2013 mistakenly overcharged 50,000 residents and business owners. Furious DWP customers sued, and when those lawsuits landed at L.A. City Attorney Mike Fuhr's door, the city hired private law firms to assist with defending the city and suing the billing system provider. But in early 2019, it was revealed in court that a few lawyers working for the city were secretly controlling the class action case filed by overcharged customers while simultaneously defending the same lawsuit. In other words, the city suing itself with a sham lawsuit. According to a court investigation made public last year, that enabled the city to settle the ratepayer claims on terms it dictated, which also sent nearly $20 million in fees to private lawyers. The FBI raids the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power and City Hall offices. And the revelations about the legal misconduct got the attention of the feds. FBI agents raided the DWP and city attorney's offices in 2019, and that ongoing investigation has led to four criminal prosecutions, including the former general manager of the DWP, David Wright, who's pleaded guilty to a bribery charge, and Thomas Peters, a former top deputy to city attorney Mike Fuhr, seen here next to his former boss at a DWP lawsuit press conference in 2015. In Peter's plea documents, he admits he met with other senior members of the city attorney's office on December 1st, 2017, and said in the court filing that meeting included talk about how to conceal the DWP lawsuit legal misconduct long before it was publicly exposed. I, I don't even know what meeting we're talking about. And that's what L.A. City Attorney Fewer said on March 8th when the I-team asked him if he'd participated in that 2017 meeting. We asked because Fewer had just been accused in a state bar complaint of taking part in that meeting, having personal and direct knowledge of the extortion scheme to cover up the misconduct and lying about it in a 2019 deposition. That allegation has absolutely no merit to it. It's from a confessed felon on whose violations we discovered. The complaint was filed by one of the private attorneys the city had hired to work on the DWP cases, who himself is now facing a federal criminal charge. I've never been involved in any such discussion. So I filed a Public Records Act request for a copy of the city attorney's office calendar for that day, hoping it would reveal who else was in the room. You can see on December 1st, 2017, it shows only one meeting related to the DWP, this one at 4.45 p.m. and a among those scheduled to attend, Thomas Peters and Mike Fuhr. In a statement to the I-Team, a spokesman said Fuhr goes to a lot of meetings and can't remember this one, though the calendar makes it appear he was there. Fuhr denies there was a discussion of anything illegal or a cover-up. There's no question that someone who's running for mayor, someone who's sitting as a city attorney in office, has to answer the question, what was he doing in that room? And what did he know? Jamie Cord of Consumer Watchdog says he first raised the alarm in 2015 when it appeared the city wasn't working in the best interest of the public while overseeing the DWP lawsuits, which have cost taxpayers millions of dollars to litigate and settle. The FBI raid of the DWP and city attorney's offices came up again during a recent mayoral debate after fewer accused candidate and real estate developer Rick Caruso of ignoring the city's need for affordable housing and instead building luxury shopping centers and apartments. Mike, I'm sorry that you opened the store. Your office was raided by federal agents. Your office is under investigation. 
and you've got a senior person in your office that's accusing you of perjury. Consumer watchdog's Jamie Court says the calendar obtained by the I-Team might move those allegations of misconduct that have so far only led to people close to Fuhr right into the city attorney's office. And if he was in the room, he knew about it. Now, L.A. City Attorney Mike Fuhr maintains that he knew nothing about anything illegal or any legal misconduct until more than a year after this 2017 meeting. Thomas Peters, his former deputy, is set to enter a guilty plea right here at federal court in downtown L.A. tomorrow. The FBI and federal prosecutors declined to comment on any of this, only saying the DWP investigation is ongoing and some of those who've pleaded guilty are cooperating. Reporting live in downtown L.A., I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.